Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel in Veritas backup exists today i'm going to demonstrate central admin server guys as you know backup exists you know uh, the application which we saw so far is you know locally managed which means this is my backup exists server and all the agents which is visible here in which agent is our backup exists agent for windows it could be our database okay whatever the agent is installed those all systems are managed using this backup exists console but if in case your environment is very large or segregated uh, across the multiple location then it's get very difficult for administrator to manage all the servers and if you are managing the locally then you would be required you know train people at each and every location so to you know reduce that headache okay or the burden what backup veritas has done is they have introduced one central admin console using that you will be man able to manage all your backup exists server using the one single console and obviously if you have the tape library on each and every location and the data is very much then you would be required one of the person who can replace the tapes but as far as the disk backup is concerned then yeah your central admins can everything manage from the back end so let me show you how exactly you can install your central admin component on the backup in this server after this small intro video hey welcome back guys now as always to install your central admin console uh, component what you will have to do is you can simply go to the installation and licensing and select the very first option install feature okay now you might be seeing your license code here if you have the valid license right then click on next that is fine this is a trial warning and as you could see the second option right central admin server feature you will have to select that and if in case if you already have the central admin server available with you okay let's say you have three to four or two uh, backup exists admin servers which is already available in your environment and now on the top of that you want to install central admin so you can you know install fresh backup exists server you are using this particular feature okay so once your central admin server is present then for the other server which are available in your network you can select this feature manage the backup exists then next next and here you will have to uh, mention your central administrator server details okay so that you are this backup exists server can communicate with central admin but in my environment i don't have any central admin so i am just making this server as a central admin so for that i am selecting this tick and then next choose your language okay again next review all the settings and hit install button since we are making changes on this application itself so it's asking to close the console so it's done and click on yes okay guys so it's not able to recognize our media obviously because we have launched this installation tool from our backup exist console so to locate that we have to click on browse and my installation media of backup exists is present into the you know edge drive okay so this is my edge drive and now click on ok again ok now it will detect that my component and as you could see the installation has been begun great news our central admin component has been successfully installed let me untick this and click on finish now as always let's launch our veritas backup exists console again let me enter the password perfect guys as soon as we sign in you, you could see here now with the name is got changed to central administration server if you didn't notice this change then you can simply go to the you know starting part of this video and check out what earlier mentioned here right so that's how they know the very first change you will see in the console and the another is in the right side central administration server although it's not clickable but yeah this is the option you will you will get highlighted now under this okay now the benefit of this is okay one, one more thing i would like to show you if you go to the installation and licensing install agent and backup exist server then if you want 
the in earlier way you can directly uh, select manager backup exists uh, agent and add your central administration uh, administration console details which means this server and that if you are existing backup exists server will be managed using this additionally if you want you can click uh, deploy one or multiple backup exists server using this console the way you are deploying backup exists agent so let me show you just by clicking on word add single computer and here you will have the option backup exist server click on next where you want to install your backup exist server mention that and you will be done it will automatically deploy your sql as well as the backup exist agent so let me cancel this for now the process is very simple and straightforward guys and similar way under storage once you have backup you see this is my backup exist server right so that's the reason it's showing all the storage under this server if you have multiple server then it will be able to show those server name here so that's how you will be able to differentiate your storage devices job mode will be common for all the jobs yeah, and that's it i hope you have understood how exactly uh, you know uh, we can install our central admin co console component on existing backup with this server and similar way you can configure the new central administration server okay so it's up to you how exactly you want to utilize this and whether it's really necessary to have central admin uh, server or not so check out that what suits best at uh, your environment and take a decision accordingly so i hope now you have understood completely that how exactly central administration server gets configured and how to use that if in case still if you have any question queries then please feel free to let me know in the comment box below and i'll definitely try to respond to your comment and with this video we'll end this series here but as always if you want me to create another video on the backup like this okay then you guys would have one month of time so just let me know in the comment box that on which topic you want me to create the video like it could be your simplified disaster recovery or manual backup and restore whatever the topics are just comment down below and if i received uh, you know at least 10 to 15 comments on the same topic then yeah i'll make the video for you so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out and i'll catch you in the next amazing new series till then bye bye have a great day